I want to serve better. I want to serve myself better. I want to serve other people better. Then there comes a moment, something more spiritual needs to enter, uh, enter you. It's already in there, but you're not using it. Welcome on Supreme Master Television. Today we are in Santa Monica, California. We're going to be spending the day with Yogi Cameron, a former model who left to India at the peak of his career in search of spiritual enlightenment. We will learn more about vegetarianism, his yoga practice and the ancient method of Ayurveda. This sort of life is good if you're 17, 18, you don't really have a direction. But then I started to read a lot and start to practice yoga, breathing, meditation. And then that gave me the strength to say, okay, I think it's enough, it's time to move on. Hello, gorgeous viewers, and welcome to Vegetarian Elite. Through the course of today and the next two episodes, we have the auspicious honor of introducing Yogi Cameron, or Cameron Albazane as many others may remember him. Cameron shares with us his journey of superstardom to discovering serenity in spirituality. He credits his mentor during his early modeling and fashion career for instilling in him an interest on the ethics of food. And I started slowly learning about food and where food comes from. And then as I started yoga and learning about ahimsa, which is non-violence, so I stopped eating meat, just trying it out, and then uh, slowly, slowly after five, now it's been about 15 years. But it's like any vegetarian or anybody who stops something. Stop it for long enough and then what you used to do, it seems so weird. You have these moments where you think, it's very strange to consume another, another living thing. It seems very weird, no? So this is only a feeling which people have who don't eat meat. <laughs> so when you talk to the general public, they don't really understand it because they're so consumed with a piece of chicken or something. But now, you know, with all the hormones they add to it, and the size of children now grow so big because of all these hormones. Women have hormonal issues because of these problems. Um, so I don't think it's a question anymore about eating meat or not. It's just a question of how to stop. A healthier, more compassionate plant-based diet coupled with a spiritual inclination results in a more positive outlook on life. So the change is... Uh, it's drastic. Physically, you drop. You go to the weight you're supposed to be. So you don't really think about are you fatter or thinner. You just, you are at the weight you are. And you quickly drop to that weight. And then you feel lighter. Mostly, you know, especially when you start to do yogic practices, meditation. It just elevates you. You lift. And you still have difficulties. You still have problems. You still have these things. But difficulties and problems suddenly become uh, a happy thing. They don't become this problem. You know? So kind of problem disappears out of your vocabulary and then you have difficulties. Mm -hmm. And difficulties are, are there to help you grow. Exactly. Um, and, you, and when I eat, used to eat meat, there's a heavy burden you know, on the body. And the mind doesn't elevate to a higher way of being. Now, a respected Ayurveda and yoga therapist, Cameron shares these ancient practices to improve the well-being and happiness of others. As I work with Ayurvedic medicine, with yoga, and the only way we can really be is an example. <laughs> Whatever we say, we have to do. So you live and people see me and they say, okay, he lives like that, maybe it works. I want to do it. I, you know, I want to do that. Because when people see somebody who's happy, you know, doesn't treat things as a problem, and you can sort of look in the eyes and you say, okay, they're happy, they're content. 
and people it's contagious people want to part of that and we all attract what we uh, what we put out we get back so all we have to do is control this and being a vegetarian not using leather um, driving a veggie car or whatever it is you do um, you do it because you don't you want to show other people there's a way you know, so we come here we we support other people who are on that path or the what you guys are doing. You, know, you show other people, well, it doesn't always take money. It doesn't always, it takes a will of doing something. Um, so to people who come to me and say, should I be vegetarian? I say, well, try it and uh, feel it. And you can always come back to not being a vegetarian. So. But chances are you won't go back. We will be back soon to do some shopping at the farmer's market. Yogi Cameron will explain to us the importance of food in Ayurvedic practices. You're watching Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television. Alright, how about some grapes? Sure, remember. These are red flame grapes, they're naturals, no Thank hormones. Wonderful. Mm. We love organic. Very sweet. It's amazing how it tastes. When you go to a shop and you buy stuff and then you eat this, yeah. it's a completely different it's taste. Totally different. It's like water. Try the pluots too. Mm. Thank you. Ah. Mm. This wow. This is so good. This is good. It's for all fruits that come, everything obviously in season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's we right. can't have anything uh, that's out of season because it's got to yeah. grow on our trees. Okay. We can't sell it and all this comes from the same farm and everything. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Richard Farm, Visalia. Cool. Amazing. Practiced for over 5,000 years in India, Ayurveda, or the science of life, offers a natural and holistic approach to medicine. Ayurveda has successfully treated a range of diseases including cancer and diabetes by considering the connection between our environment, body, mind and spirit. Yogi Cameron offers us a glimpse into these practices in relation to our everyday eating patterns. So a combination of food is really important, how you mix your food. And then time of day is important. Is it also in the Ayurvedic medicine they teach how to combine the food? Yeah, everything to do with mixing food, the time of day you eat food, the amount you eat food, according to the size of the body. So it's not the, you know, a bigger person with the biggest um, needs more energy, they naturally, you know, if you're an athlete, you need more food because you're burning at such a rate. We're walking around, if today we have a leisurely day, you eat once a day, it's fine. You don't need to eat again. So nighttime eating, not at all positive. It's not that good. No, it just sits there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like at night. Oh. If you want to meditate. <laughs> Terrible for meditation. <laughs> eating and meditation don't go together. <laughs> Two different things. But here, you know, the, if you mix a couple of these, especially like has a cool property. Yeah. You've got to know a little bit about the, the hot and the cold property of food as well. Is it more acidic, more alkaline? So you mix them or you eat more certain food in a certain period of the year? Exactly. For instance, this is all coming in season. So we're our body's acclimated to it. So now the sun's getting higher. It's going to get to about 90 degrees today or something, whatever, 85. It's hot. So you want food with more water in it. It naturally has more water because it's a summer fruit. Uh, food, like the fruits we just saw as well, full of water. They digest quicker, they add more liquid to the body. But as soon as you start frying it and treating it, you change the composition of it, it becomes another food. And then it's actually not very useful to the body. Um, and then the amount you eat. You should fast maybe once a day uh, or once a week. You should fast, give the body, you know, um, so a you little bit of rest. Yeah. Yeah, with warm water, for instance, warm oh, water fast. Just warm water Don't eat at all. Mm. Yeah, maybe take a herbal tea or something. That's fine. And um, when you say you fast during the day, you mean like you only want to eat once a day? Yeah. And also eat once a day sometimes. Don't eat three meals a day. Like three meals a day are actually not necessary. It's a traditional thing everybody sort of got into. But three meals a day and all the snacking. It's really snacking is a meal as well. So we don't like to <laughs> say that's a meal, but you know, so it's keeping in nature. However, you know now there's a cool wind, 
were by the sea, it's about 10 degrees less than it is in the city. Somebody there eating something maybe that we eat here will have a bad stomachache mm -hmm. because it's much hotter there and the body can't digest the food. You have to adjust your diet according to the weather. The completely, completely, to where you're at as well. If you have a really busy day, you're nervous, mm -hmm. you're running around and you eat, food doesn't sit well in the stomach. So you have to take quite a lot of factors and most people don't. The broccoli, for example, have got a more cool, uh, uh, colder nature. So yeah, in Chinese, it's the yin and the yang, the opposites. Here in Ayurveda, it's more hot in the cold aspect. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like the body. The body is on the right-hand side. It's more masculine, more uh, hot. So we feel different things in different parts of the body, different organs uh, we hold emotion in. So for instance, you eat a broccoli, it has a certain property, it's more cooler. It's easier, it's quite lighter. So when, and depending on how you cook it, then it turns into something different. So that's really important. As a so whole. Do you recommend we don't cook too much the broccoli? Yeah, like now. Okay. If you eat it like now, you'll be able to eat maybe two or three stems, pretty much four, because it fills you up. Mm -hmm. But if you cook it, you'll be able to eat a little bit more because the body can digest quicker and more. Mm -hmm. But when it's in a raw form, you have to have a lot of good digestion. So people with bad digestion, best to stay off it raw food. People with good digestion, it's okay to eat raw, more raw food. So the composition of all these things will change. Like I said, this is very light and cooling to the system, mm -hmm. but many people fry this or they fry the zucchini. Very light, it's full of water, but as soon as you do something else to it, the composition changes. So, and then of course, if you mix it with even more vegetables, it can become very heavy. So in a weather like today, it's, it's quite it's summer and it's sunny. What do you recommend as a... I mean, all of this is in season because it's in a, we're coming from a farmer's market. That's the greatest thing about work, buying from a farmer's market. You don't have to worry too much about, um, am I eating something which is winter food? Did it come from the islands? Did it come from New Zealand where it's winter time? Yeah. Uh, did it travel from a place where it ripened on the way? You know, this, this needs to come from get fully ripe before you pick it because the goodness that it gets from the soil, um, it would be kind of like a child coming out of the mother four months early. It hasn't grown yet. It doesn't have the nurturing, doesn't have the nutrition. So these things tend to get picked from miles away, you know, thousand, two thousand miles away. Then they, they pick like especially bananas, for example, they ripen on the way. So the, you know, they're half as nutritious. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, so I, we should eat organic and locally food? Yeah, yeah. So all things you have to take into consideration. Now, most people eat packaged food. Yeah. So it's made somewhere, somebody chopped it up. Although it's vegetables, it went through the packaging process. So it's been chopped up on a board and then it stays maybe, who knows, three days in this packaging and then you eat it. So in Ayurveda, we keep away from frozen foods, packaged food, tin foods, leftover foods, all of these pre-made foods. They have no food value. So we stay away from those. Thank you for your company today on Vegetarian Elite. Please join us next week as Yogi Cameron shares more about his life and why he left a successful modeling and fashion career in pursuit of a spiritual life. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television. May your health and spirit be nourished in nature's abundance. Visit www.yogicameron.com to learn more about Yogi Cameron and how to achieve a healthier and happier life through yoga, Ayurveda and conscious eating. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE.